Hello and welcome back to Invincible Asia. I'm George Clark and today I take a look at the Cat 3 classic Run and Kill released on Blu-ray by Error 4444. Don't forget folks, before we go any further, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, ring the bell, and all that jibber jabber, and thank you very much for supporting Invincible Asia. So back from holiday, and I find that this had not come through my door. I was watching everyone else on Instagram getting their copy, and mine wasn't here. Of course, we had moved house, and it went to the old address, uh, so I did finally manage to get my hands on it, which I'm very, very excited for, because this once again is another incredible and beautiful release from the guys over at Error 4444. This is just beautiful and as an avid Hong Kong movie collector as you can see I've never had the pleasure of watching this Billy Tang Category 3 classic. So this is going to be an absolute first for me and I am so friggin excited to finally get my hands on this. Now I have seen it kicking around online don't get me wrong um, I've seen certain copies on offer, I've seen certain DVD versions, a lot of them were kind of bootleg but I didn't really want to go down that road with those to be honest. Um, so whenever I heard that Error 4444 were putting this out I was super super excited because this is gorgeous. Both sides of the covers there look fantastic I cannot wait to get in. To this um but yes number seven as you can see on their spine here um and the title on that side in white and on the other side here in red hopefully there's not too much glare going on there i'll do it from this side also just in case i still got to get my blinds on the doors and things like that i still have a few things that i want to add to the studio here just to complete it before i share with you a full video uh, of, of what I've been up to. Uh, okay, let's get stuck into this. Now I do know um, from catching it online there on Instagram that there was some problem with the printout on the back here with this particular um, version. Now they did send over the new one which is great so I will change that over with you uh, in a second but from what I've uh, noticed here, I think that this is their Fatal Termination special features that have been printed instead of the uh, the Run and Kill one, which is here, of course. I'm just getting over a chest infection, so bear with me. There's always something, isn't there? You go on holiday, you think you're going to have a great time. Day two, you start coughing. I always pick up something on the plane. Always. Never fails. I should wear a mask more often, but hey, I'm not a ninja. Okay, let's see. Uh, hopefully again, there's not too much glare going on here, as you can see. I'm not going to flip it around for you just yet because obviously, uh, again, I need to change that cover. So, uh, <laughs> let me just pop this open. Inside there, we have got what looks like some stickers. Uh, the disc, a booklet here, and up here some stickers. So, I will get stuck into that. I'm going to first of all replace this cover though, which is wonderful. Um, and I will show you how that looks with the full spread, as you can see. Loving this artwork. Uh, not too sure who is on the artwork, but I, if I find out, I will tag them obviously on my Instagram. Uh, but this is fantastic. I hope I do hope they, they follow up with Red to Kill. Um, so this was a 1993 production. Uh, I don't know which cover I'm going to go for. Oh, shite balls. Anyway, I'll keep the original side in for now. Uh, this was a 1993 production from director Billy Tang. Now, I like Billy Tang. Um, he's often overlooked and often just seen as a Category 3 director. I do have his first movie, which is Vengeance is mine, I have it on VCD with Rosamund Kwan. Uh, then his second movie was Dragon Fight with Jet Li and Chai Sing Chi, which again is, has never been released, it's unfortunate. There, there is a German version kicking around, I do, uh, called The Defector. I do recommend you pick that up if you wanna see it. 
Uh, the third movie then was Dr. Lamb with Simon Yam, who of course pops up again here in his fourth movie. And then from there, he went on to direct pretty much focus on the Category 3 side of things, but he went on to direct Red to Kill, which was a follow-up of some sorts. Uh, Brother of Darkness, Sexy and Dangerous, Street Angels, and Casino, uh, again with Simon Yam, which I really enjoyed. I do have it here on uh, DVD. I quite like that movie. You can find the full review of that on my website. Um, but uh, this is one I've never had the, the pleasure of, and I'm really excited for it. So here's the extra features that we get with um, Run and Kill from Error 4444. We have a brand new 2K restoration uh, at 91 minutes. We have audio commentary by Bruce Holchek uh, and Art Ettinger. Uh, the Kids Aren't All Right, a video essay by Erica Schultz. Audio commentary by Kenneth Brorson and Phil Gillen of Podcasts and Fire Network. Uh, Run and Kill by CFK on location. Fantastic. Excited for that one, of course. Uh, New English, traditional Mandarin and simplified Mandarin subtitles. Brilliant. Region free as it should be for everyone the world over. Okay, let's get stuck in here because I can't wait any longer. I'm going to pop these stickers out first. Uh, have a look here. Oh, fantastic. These are pretty Pretty cool and make me even more excited for what's to come. That's nice. <laughs> now I did see whenever uh, people were posting this on their Instagram that uh, it did, it was released with, I think the Japanese movie, uh, Scissor Penis, I think it was called. Looks pretty fucked up. Although I couldn't afford to get it at the time. I'm hoping that further uh, throughout the year when the labels are putting out more there, I might save it a few extra pennies let's just say to put aside uh, and get my hands on that crazy looking movie uh here's the booklet there some nice artwork very comic book in style quite like it not too sure who the artist is there but uh the movie itself of course there he is the wonderful simon yam uh so you got yam in there who as i said before star uh, starred in a number of billy tang movies uh ken chang is in there who's amazing Melvin Wong, Danny Lee, of course. Uh, so you, you know fine well with a cast like that that you are not going to be disappointed. Um, of course, the content itself is going to take away from the stars, I think. Um, but that's what makes me very excited about seeing this. Cannot wait. Uh, this looks fantastic. I really can't wait to get stuck into that. Okay, uh, that's pretty much all there is to share with you. I am going to go now check this out for the first time ever cannot wait uh, i'm not going to force my husband to watch this one because i know he will storm out uh, and ruin my viewing pleasure let's just say <laughs> halfway through if he gets that far but yes uh, i will be right back soon to let you know what i think So guys, just back after checking out the Blu-ray release from Era 4444 of Run and Kill, uh, this incredibly fucked up and highly entertaining film that was a first watch for me and definitely a movie that I will not get out of my head for some time. This was quite the experience, especially that last 30 minutes. That was something else. And I have to say, Ken Cheng was incredible in this. I thought this would be Simon Yam's film, but no, Ken Cheng was definitely the guy. He was the leading man. He stole every scene that he was in. He was fantastic, fantastic. And again, another one of those genre bending films that take you down a totally different path. If you, if you were to not see any trailers or any pictures or know what this movie was about, you would, this movie kind of lures you in with a false sense of security before it kind of rapes the life out of your eyeballs. So yes. For that reason alone, I would highly recommend this because it is worth checking out by all means. Uh, <laughs> as for the picture itself, the restoration was stunning. The 2K restoration looks beautiful. Now you're probably thinking, how does he know he's nothing to compare that to? Well, there's actually an Easter egg among this beautifully uh, designed menu here, this uh, gorgeously put together piece. I'm not going to tell you where it is, um, but if you find that Easter egg, you will find yourself an unrestored 4.3 version of the Japanese release of Run and Kill. Comes with Japanese and English subtitles, so don't worry about that. Um, definitely worth checking out. And I would say try and search for that first, because if you can find that and see that quality, 
before it was restored, it will be so worth it. Uh, check out that, that edition of it first, then jump into that restoration and it is highly worth it. Trust me, it's so beautiful. The guys have done an amazing job here, so they have. Uh, watched it myself in Cantonese with English subtitles, then twice again with the audio commentaries, uh, which were both quite entertaining, I have to say. Very different and entertaining in their own way, but also both very informative um, from dis different aspects uh, with each pair viewing this movie. Uh, so yes, check them out. You might not want to watch them straight after one another like I did, but they're definitely worth listening to at different periods of time if you have that chance. Uh, then you have got the CFK, the Crazy From Kong locations with Arna Venema. This was a lot of fun, highly enjoyable, ran for about 10 minutes in length. Um, I was really hoping Arna would take a trek into the forest though, but he did say, that he did admit that there was snakes in there and he wasn't gonna do that. Um, but very interesting in how they found some of the locations that came from the movie. I know when I interviewed Arna and we talked about it, how Hong Kong changes so fast, how that city is moving so quickly that locations in movies like this, which is just over 30 years old already, get lost, they, they disappear. So it makes it harder to find these older locations for films like this or 80s, 90s movies. Um, but he done a good job. I'd say the guys all went out there and found what they could. And it was great to see uh, some of those old places looking the way they do today, I have to say. Then there's the video essay from Erica Schultz. Uh, the kids aren't all right. Uh, runs for about 16 minutes. Interesting piece, I have to say. Um, it kind of focuses on the violence towards or the killing of kids in movies, uh, mostly with Hong Kong films, of course. She does focus on some American movies, some Hollywood movies there, um, but the majority of that is about the Hong Kong uh, filmmakers and how they treat children, whether it's for shock or emotion or for story, anything like that. So you will get to see clips from certain movies that are a wee bit harder to get, uh, which is pretty cool. Oops, sorry, I'm spitting with excitement here. Um, but yeah, that was an interesting wee piece. Then there's uh, Simon Yam trailers. There's two trailers on there, one for Fatal Termination, uh, which of course was released by Error 4444 in a beautiful Blu-ray edition. Please check that out and get your hands on it and support the label. It is absolutely worth it. And for Mission Kill, AKA Mission of the Condor or Angel Force if you live in Germany. Um, so is that a sign that they will be releasing this further down the line? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> and then you have the original closing credits. Uh, these run for about a minute and a half. Um, I'm not too sure why it wasn't part of the actual film itself with the main feature here because it just kind of ends on a still with uh, Ken Cheng. Uh, there's no credits run over it, although it runs for a similar amount of time. But I'm just curious as to why those those um, Chinese credits weren't put over that there. But it was cool to see. Nothing special about it. It's mostly Chinese writing, but it's cool to see. It's cool to have on there. So all in all, a wonderfully packed release. I mean, I am so happy that Error 4444 have put this out there. They've done an incredible job. They get better with every release. Uh, I'm so excited for what's to come in 2024 and then on. So yes, out now from Error 4444, uh, like all the rest of their titles, they seem to be selling out pretty quick. So if you want a copy in your collection, I'd advise you to move pretty damn fast. For me though, double thumbs up, glad it's in my collection. Thanks for watching and the continued support and I'll see you soon. So thank you once again for watching another video here on Invincible Asia. Don't forget you can check out hundreds of others here on the channel. You can also show your continued support by heading over to my new merch store or by checking out InvincibleAsia.com where you can read my full movie reviews and follow me on Instagram at InvincibleAsia. Until next time though, enjoy your Kung Fu and I will see you soon.